Not that I never six weeks later. Uh, s s s hey. <laughs> hey. Hi. Uh. <laughs> so I don't I don't have the quick quick paparazzi uh, flashy camera uh, bullshit on today. Um, there's a very 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 simple reason uh, why that is. Um. <laughs> And, uh, it was just a sunscreen a, a moment ago. Um, I, I, I don't know if I can find a good picture for it. I, 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 I don't know how to properly capture how I feel and shit. Um, it's gonna be a weird stream. I just wanna say that. Um, like, if you are not obligated to watch this, you're not going to miss, like, Anything important in any games or anything, like, I'm probably just gonna fuck around in something if I do play a game. I just wanna talk for a bit, because, um... So, uh... <sighs> I'm making it sound like I have some terrible disease or something. It's not. The Atlanta Braves just won the fucking World Series last night. <laughs> um, it's really cool. Uh, I, I like that team, uh, quite, quite, quite a bit. Um... I, I, uh... <laughs> <clears throat> I don't really have words for this. I've never really experienced this before. Um... This is really weird. I have kind of just felt like I've been dreaming all day. Um, I'm sorry I'm not more, um, coherent right now, I guess. But I am very, <laughs> very overwhelmed. Uh, the past, God, how long has it been? Like 18 hours, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. Like, it's, as it felt real. It took me forever to get sleep. I got like maybe like five hours of sleep la last night. Because I just, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Like, I was so fucking excited. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night and I just... Oh god, it's real. I, I just had to, like... Lay down for a bit and be like, Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And just go back to sleep. <clears throat> um... So, this is the first time I'm doing, like... A season recap. I guess. Um... <laughs> hey, Orange Cat, what's up? Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> this you on a normal night? Understandable. Um, I'm gonna try and get my thoughts put out as cohesively as I can, but it's gonna be a fucking mess and I apologize. I've uh, never had to do this before. <laughs> I don't know if that's obvious. Um, so when I... When I started VTubing, um, July 13th was the day of the All-Star Game. Um, me and Tsuyu had worked together, um, nothing's just normal orange cat stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, me and Tsuyu had been working together on, uh, getting me VTubing and making sure I had a channel and I had stuff to do it and all that stuff. And we decided, okay, we'll have everything ready by July 13th. Because she asked me, hey, is it going to be, like, a special day? baseball day that you could, like, debut on, and that'd be cool. I'm like, I don't know, but All-Star Games in a couple months. And she's like, okay, cool, perfect. That, sound, that sounds rad. <laughs> um, if I could, God, God bless see you. I, I don't say enough good things about her on stream, but I really do owe her the world. Um, so, a bit before the All-Star break, um, I was, like, getting ready for Sylv. Uh... You know, this whole Sylvia Slugger Twitch channel thing. And I was just I was pretty nervous, but also um I didn't really have time to make any food or anything, so I was just kinda like, you know what? Last days before the All-Star break, the Braves are playing the Marlins. I'm gonna go to Captain D's. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some seafood, cause uh this sure food, not friends, whatever the hell fucking Braves fans say that disrespects the Marlins and makes them throw at Acuna. 
Um, and on the way there, I was listening to the game on the Serie A, and uh, Ronald Acuna broke his leg, and I. <laughs> Yeah, there's Captain D's near me. Um, I was sure the season was over. Ronald is... I, I can't say he's the heart and soul of the team, because there's Freddy too. Like, it's the two of them. But Ronald is, like, my favorite player on the, t on the Braves right now, I think. Um, and I thought the season was over. Like, no one had been playing well except for him, like, all year, you know? Like... Everything just seemed kind of doomed. <laughs> like, I remember an interview with Brian Snitker, um, like, the day after that, he was asked, uh, like, how'd you sleep? And he went, like a baby, I just woke up every two hours and started crying. <laughs> and, yeah, no, like... Yeah, you thought you'd have uh, a 40 to 1 second thing. Yeah, no, that that hurts. <laughs> that really sucks. I'm sorry. Um, I think every every race fan thought the season was over when Acuna went down. Um, because the hell do we do now? You know, like we already barely had an outfield. Our outfield was Ronald Acuna Jr. and some some other guys. <laughs> And I, going into the trade deadline, I was really surprised to pick up Jock. Like, I was really surprised, like, near the end, they were like, hey, we got Alan Duvall back, we got Eddie Rosario, we got Jorge Soler, we got Dick Rod. And I, at the time, I remember Dick Rod being the one I was the most excited. No, I was most excited about Duvall, because I fucking love Adam Duvall. But also, Dick Rod was really on fire at the time. He's like a miss in the double down UGA at 10 to 1. Oh my gosh. Yeah, hopefully. If the fingers fucking crossed, man. If the, if the curse is dead, then. <sighs> God. Okay, here's how deeply traumatized I am as a Georgia sports fan. Um, The Braves literally just won the World Series, and in my head, I'm like, yeah, well, the curse is dead. And, like, internally, I'm just like, well, oh, it's not. <laughs> What if, what if the Dodgers win the World Series? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Like, literally, like, the Braves got the National League Championship Series MVP for about approximately 24 minutes of control of, pa of Pablo Sandoval. Like, that was the return. That's fucking insane. That's, like, unheard of. Like, like, it, okay, like, the three playoff, playoff arms the Braves play, uh, the, I guess the Brewers, against the Dodgers, against the Astros. And so the Brewers, Jock Peterson, was the MVP of that series. Against the Dodgers, it was Eddie. And against the Astros, it, it was Jorge. All of them were got at the trade deadline for basically nothing. Like, like, the Braves bought a championship for, like, $2. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, the Duval trade was crazy. Like, I was like, oh god, what do we give the Marlins? We're gonna have to face them all the time. It's like, Alex Jackson. I was like, hey, Alex Jackson, I remember him. He was not good. <laughs> Just, god. I remember feeling pretty good about the acquisitions. Like, they might be able to take some position from the Mets. They're probably gonna, like, lose to the Brewers or the Padres or something, but, like, I don't know if I can. I just didn't want them to lose to the to the Dodgers again. Like that was my that was my hope going into the playoffs. Um was win the championship series or don't get there at all. <laughs> like Remember the one game where Tomlin let the Marlins score like seven in the ninth, but the Braves won because Alex Jackson struck out. Oh my god! I yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. <clears throat> oh my god. So 
Another funny thing about this is, uh... <laughs> I've seen people call this a fucking, like, Mickey Mouse trophy or whatever, because uh, the very first time shortened season only, only played 161 games and not 162. And I think that's really fucking funny. <laughs> Because, like, the other time, it was, like, what, like, 140-something? 144? And 95? It's something like that, because of the strike and all that. Like... Gosh. <laughs> um... So... Last night, um, the past couple nights, actually, I think, like, during game four, I want to say... Um, I asked Amati if she wanted to watch the game with me because I was going to be screaming at it while we play Final Fantasy. And she went, no, sure, why the fuck not? <laughs> and, oh my god, I... 144, wow, that's pretty goddamn good, alright. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, so you had watched a couple games with me, um, mostly against the Dodgers, uh, who she kept referring to as her team, and I, I don't think CU knows the rules of baseball, but she is very spirited, and I appreciated that about her. <laughs> um... God, I remember, like, um, I watched the Game 6 of the NLCS on my own, like, uh, and I got on call with the girls, like, right after the game ended, and I was just sobbing and crying into the phone, and I was like, hey guys, race one, <laughs> National League Champions, and they were just like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, and like, like comforting me like I'm a fucking two-year-old and all that shit. <laughs> and it's not like I was like upset in a bad way, like like C thought I was, but like I was just so fucking overwhelmed that the Braves were going to the World Series. Like I can barely remember the last time that happened. <laughs> it will awesome. I think uh, Ender gets one as well. And also Panda. Panda is a four-time World Series champion. <laughs> Gosh. So... God. Um... I, like, <laughs> see you, like, bless her heart. It was, like, plugging in me. I was like, yeah, I'm so happy for you. You're team one. And I'm like, well... Yeah, the, that means the Dodgers were eliminated, eliminated. Are you still happy for me then? And she's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's the sweetest fucking person in the world. Like, she is, like, so gentle. And, like... God, I adore her. Um... So was, so, yeah, no. It doesn't it, it fit me either. Like... Um, all morning on Twitter, I've seen, uh, trending in Georgia, Publix, uh, trending in Georgia, Waffle House, uh, trending in Georgia, Jock Peterson, and, like, these are all the same, these are all for the same fucking reason. <laughs> um, maybe someone got murdered at Publix or something. They should, like, click on that before I say, hey, Braves. Uh, it doesn't appear to be that anyone died in Publix. I, I feel like... Oh, they're reading for the Braves World Series new paper, newspaper from, like, the AJC. Okay. Um. <laughs> I haven't ordered anything like that. Um. I kind of want to, but, like, I'm, I'm a broke-ass bitch, so, like, I don't like that. <laughs> um. But, yeah, no, like, the, like, Amati and I think CU was also there for game four. Um, rushing with me and I was like screaming my fucking head off and all that shit. 
And game five, I watched the first two batters of, I think. I watched like the top of the first and then like the first two batters of the bottom of the first. And around then is when we started having to do, because that was on Halloween. We started to have to like put stuff together for like, um, whatchamacallit, like the Halloween stream that Monty was doing. And... Oh my god, like... I, like, I, like, I have promised early on, listen, like, there's a chance the Braves might be playing in the World Series that day. And I'm gonna try my best to still be there for it. <laughs> Not you asked for no spoilers? I very much am, thank you so much. <sighs> like, I, like, I, like, um, I wasn't paying super close attention to the chat. Um, Monty said that they, uh, like, I guess you guys were good. I don't know how many people from that, from that streaming here. Ah, the fall from the default grand slam to the bullpen. Yeah, no, like... <laughs> I, I was not paying attention at all. Um, I, I threw my threw my phone in the trash can. I got it out afterwards. I cleaned it off. But like, turn the TV off. Like, we had started preparing. Like, we were starting to set up like uh, Monty's OBS and all that crap, and like getting ready to go live and all that stuff. And I look over at my TV and that's behind me. Like, um, it's still on. Fucking like, box or whatever the hell channel it was on. And it was just, like, I turn around and see Dancy Swanson, like, celebrating in the dugout. I'm like, what? And then I look at the score, and it's 4 nothing, and nobody's on the bases. I, was, I just screamed. And I'm like, okay, I have to turn the fucking TV off. <laughs> and then we started, we started the stream. <laughs> and then when the stream ended, I looked at the score, and I went, oh, that's not good. <laughs> It was like 7 to 5, I think, when uh, we got back to it. And I think the game ended 9 to 5. I think that's the final score. Um, but... Monty and C watched it with me, and they were there comforting me. It's like, hey, listen, they'll, they'll, get, them, they'll get them next year. I'm like, I mean, if they, if they win, like, Tuesday or Wednesday, they still win. It's like, wait, how many games do they have to play? Uh, the, the Braves need to win one, and the Astros need to win, like, two more after today. I'm like... Oh, okay, they got this then. <laughs> It'll go to Tuesday, don't worry about it, man. So... Um, they were right. <laughs> and here's the thing, like, for all the encouragement they have to offer, for everything that they were just like, Alright, Sylvia, listen. There's not anything that can fucking blow this. During the game, like... The Braves were up 7 nothing. Like, even, like, the Braves were up 6 nothing. And then Freddy hits a fucking solo homer to put it seven. And in the back of my head, I'm still like, Will Smith is gonna fuck this up. <laughs> like I've been, I've been here. I've been here a lot. Like, like I, I know how this goes. I know how this fucking works. Like, there's just a lot of moments where it seemed like something bad was going to happen. Like, the first inning, with, um, Max free pitching, like, the first two batters, uh, some fucking ass show, I, I, like, Michael Taylor, maybe, like, stepped on his leg as he was running to first? And, in the head, I'm like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is the curse. <laughs> this is the fucking curse. Brantley, okay, okay. Yeah, Michael Brantley. I have no idea who I thought Michael T. <laughs> I, I think I'm mixing up, um... Michael Brantley and Chris Taylor. As, like, the two players. <laughs> I feel like being anything for their teams. That's not true. His ALTV TV had, like, two homers, I think. Um... But, like, like even, even when the Braves were at 7 to nothing with two outs, like, 0-2 count, in the back of my head, I'm like, they can still fuck this up. <laughs> I, no, I didn't get to go to any games this year, unfortunately. I really wanted to, but, like, again, like, a broke-ass bitch. Fucking, ugh. I hope he's talking about being a broke-ass bitch is, like, in the way, like, like, Reimu from Toho. 
words because like <laughs> I think it's funny. Um like I really wanted to go see a game this year. I really wanted to see I still haven't been to Truist. Like um the last game I went to was in 2015, I think. Like the last major league game. Um there's a game against the Cubs, and I think the Braves lost one to nothing, and Chris Johnson was playing first base. Because <laughs> Freddie Freeman was hurt. It was not a good game. <laughs> oh my god, I went to the Phillies game where Morton did get dinged out, out of the front. Oh no, that must have sucked, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Hopefully next year. Also went to the 21 game against the Cubs. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Is that the one where Ronald uh got a left hand to better his helmet and Snit like took a minute to and I was like, wait a minute, get back here. <laughs> I fucking love that. That was adorable. <laughs> it's time we beat Kershaw in game. One of the NLCS. Oh, nice, nice. It was that Gamble game. He hit a grand slam. Yeah, yeah, no. Fucking. I, I love Ronald. <laughs> like, um. I was saying, like, uh, I, the girls were, like, asking me who my favorite player was, and I was like, um, he's not playing tonight because he got hurt halfway through the year. <laughs> And after we had, like, gone to bed and everything, um, like, I was just, like, watching, I, I just watched videos on YouTube for hours of, like, the post-game press conferences and shit, and, like, the, uh, like, on-field celebration and stuff, and, like, there's, like, some shot I saw of, like, like, right after the last out was made, um, Freddy hugging Ronald and saying, don't worry, we'll be back next year. And that made me start fucking crying on the spot. I immediately just took a picture of that and posted it in our group chat. It was like, this picture is everything to me. <laughs> is... I don't know. Like, it... It is really incredible. It, it, it's very strange, it still doesn't feel real, like you said, Orange Cat. Like, um... Yeah, no, that's like the best part. Like, they're not just good, they're wholesome, like... The Braves seem like so much fun, like, honestly. Like... They're so fucking adorable. Like, like when Dancy Swanson hit that two-run homer, um... I think it was like in the fifth inning, maybe? I don't remember. But, God, like, like, Ronald was just, like, standing next to the Braves' dugout, just on the field. And as soon as the ball left Dancy's bat, he just threw his arms up in the fucking air. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh my god, like... Also, like, Ozzy finding the field camera and just, like, looking at it like a dog really confused at, like, a phone or something. <laughs> it's really cute. Like, that was, in, like, the ninth inning, I think, and I was just like, please don't let this be a fucking- please don't let this be the curse. Please don't let this be over it. <laughs> God, and I don't know, like, there's some interview with Freddy after the game. Uh, where they asked him, hey, uh, during, like, like before the last out, you had, like, the glove over your face, like, were you trying to say anything to anybody? What was that about? He was like, I couldn't stop myself from smiling, and I didn't want to fuck it up. <laughs> it was like, like, even they know, like, how fucking cursed Atlanta is. Like, as much as Freddy's complained about, like, hearing about the fucking curse in interviews and shit. Like, they fucking know. <laughs> like, you can't talk about Atlanta sports without someone bringing up 28-3, you know? Like, like I, I just did. <laughs> We're like half an hour to this fucking stream and I just did, so. Like, whatever. Oh 
my god. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like there's so much I want to say and I just, I don't know. I saw, um, I think Julio Tehran uh, had a thing on his Instagram of him, like, watching the Last Out of the World series. <laughs> and it made me really emo too, because, like, he was the, he was the last Brave Other Than Freddy to be there from, like, before the rebuild and shit, you know? And, like, he left, like, two years ago, I think? No, I think he gets just for the Tigers now. Like, um... I think he went to the Angels for... a bit. And I don't think he was good Julio, so I think he went to Detroit. And... I don't know how he did that. <laughs> I didn't catch up with him, because... I don't know, I, I, I constantly forget that the... That the Detroit Tigers exist. It's very- oh god, there's like a picture someone posted of like, um, like, Verlander and, um, Scherzer and like, all this fucker- like, Drew Smiley and all that shit. Like, like, the, like, a Tigers rotation from like, 2010s and went, every single one of these pitchers has won a World Series, but not with the Tigers. <laughs> yeah, the 2014 rotation. Like, that killed me. Like, that just made me feel fucking terrible for Tigers fans. <laughs> like, oh my lord. Oh my god. <sighs> fucking baseball, man. <laughs> Um, during the game, like, the entire time, um, except for the ninth inning, during the ninth inning, we stopped, but, like, uh, me and Amanti were playing Final Fantasy XIV together, and I think Suyu was just kind of working and, like, drawing in the background, because that's what she likes to do, you know? She's a really, really good artist. Like, uh, the thumbnail I posted on Twitter, and that was, like, at the start of the stream, like, uh, like, like, like this one. Uh, there's, like, full art of it I could probably find, but, like, like, she drew that after the game ended, um, because I just fucking screamed harder than I ever have in my life <laughs> when I got a final out. And I was sobbing for, like, ten minutes afterwards. Like, I just couldn't stop. Yeah, no, it's, like, it's beautiful. I really want to show the full thing, um, if I can. Uh, I need to... I'm gonna save this to the, my desktop. And hopefully import it as, as an image. Um, and have that appear on the stream. Oh god, it's so large. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's a really, really, really cute picture of me. I like it. Wait, hold on. Uh, how do I get the screen? Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> like, I started crying again when she showed me this. <laughs> like, oh my god, hey Mel, what's up? <laughs> Hold on, let me move myself over so that you guys can like see the, the, the pretty art. I need to put it over the desk though. Yeah, okay, that's good. <sighs> Thanks, Phil. I'm really happy too. This is a very strange feeling, and I don't know what to, I don't know how to process any of it, but I'm here, so that's cool. Gosh, if I can. Yeah, I don't know. Um, 
my mom actually came in the room to watch the last uh, inning with me, like the top and the bottom of the ninth. And I, I, I warned like Amati and see you before and he was like, hey, my mom might just like bang on the door and be like, let me in. <laughs> and she did, and she came in the room and was very sad. I was like, hi, y'all. Like, blah, blah, blah. She asked, like, hey, are y'all video chatting? And I'm like, no, mom, we're anime girls. We don't do that. <laughs> are you going to the break? Probably not. It's kind, of, it's kind of the drive for me. Um, and. I really, really want to, but I, I don't think it's feasible. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I, I, I would really, really want to, but yeah, I, I just don't think I, I could. Um... It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a lot, dude. It's... It's really a lot. Like, like, Atlanta traffic is already fucking terrible, and they're going all the way from Centennial Park to, like, Cobb fucking County. Like, Sandy Fife's just dead. Like, Sandy Fife fucking rest in peace. Like, <laughs> you think it's skipping right? You can go for it. I saw a thing, um, that... Uh, schools in Cobb County are just called Friday a sick day for everybody. Um, and they're like, hey, no one has to come to school Friday. Listen, don't even fucking worry about it. <laughs> Go to the parade. <laughs> oh, it's a cat? Okay, cool. Oh my god. If, if that happens in, um, Gwinnett, then... That might be- that might be cool. I'm not- I'm trying very hard not to dox myself. Uh, <laughs> you know what really sucks? Um, my sister starts a new job, uh, in downtown Atlanta, uh, like, this week. And she has to fucking deal with the traffic <laughs> in her first week. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. Oh <sighs> my gosh. Fucking... Well, I think we're okay. <laughs> um, after the game was over, I immediately had the stupid idea to start playing Outcast as long as I could and like put as many stupid things as I could think of on screen and record like a video. It was too far from Marta. Yeah, um, fucking no one in Gwinnett County wants to have the fucking Marta come here, so. Like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Like, I don't know, dude, it's rough. It is pretty rough. Oh my god, like, um... I don't know. It is, it is very strange tonight. <laughs> I am really, really thankful to my friends who were there with me. Um, they kept thanking me for letting them be there. I'm like... Man, this is... This is a stickball sport that, like, no fucking VTuber but me like, gives a shit about, as far as I know. <laughs> like... <sighs> they would probably want... They would probably want to put on stop in Norcross and how complicated bus ride. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. God. Um. Dude, I have no idea. Like, I like I had no words last night, and I feel like I still don't. Um. Just cheese. <laughs> I am really fucking speechless. And I don't really know what to do with my life now. Like, I stopped, um, I stopped playing MLB The Show on stream, uh, around the time when the postseason started. Because I'm already having anxiety attacks about baseball, like, every day anyway. I don't, I don't need to throw in the video game version of baseball in there, uh, on top of it. But... My teacher's fucking won the World Series. I'm gonna play the show and we'll be the show. 
Also, since um, it's November now, and there's like no... Like, we're kind of nearing the end of like content uh, for the year. Um, they have the Daily Moments program, so where you can get the old Daily Moments cards. And one of them is Pablo Sandoval. Uh, Four-time World Series champion Pablo Sandoval. <laughs> um, gosh. Crazy. Actually, was it for? Hold on, let me look that up. Oh, I, I, I might, I might be stupid. I might, not, I might not know how to count. Uh, let's see. Yeah, four-time World Series champion. Spring 10, 2012, 2014, 2021. What? Gosh. I am a praise for the CGA Hawks Atlanta United fan. There's no offseason for me. Wise. I had that thought earlier today when I was in the car. It's like, shit, I gotta start watching the Hawks again. <laughs> like, I like the Hawks. Like, I, I really like watching the Hawks. Like, I have no problems with it. I'm just like, oh yeah, I have to go, I have to like do basketball now. Shit. All right. Let's <laughs> get in that mode. My basketball happens often enough to where it feels like a constant enough pace where it can kind of substitute baseball. Um,. Because football happens like once every 1.2 weeks or something. <laughs> uh, and that's like with Falcons and Bulldogs. So like... I guess like 0 0.6 weeks. I don't fucking know. Bulldogs are good. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if they stay good... Um, then I'll believe the curse is broken. Like, I, I feel like this this Braves thing is entirely a dream that's conjured up by turning myself into an anime girl on the internet that plays video games for fun. Uh... Part of, part of this weird dream state is that the Braves won the World Series. <laughs> the Braves won the World Series without their best player and their ace pitcher. When they were like below 500 in, like, August or some shit. Like... Back as a T-Bat to him, but too good to tank? Yeah, exactly. Honestly... Anytime Youngway does anything, I'm like, fuck yeah, Youngway! Like, I fucking love Youngway. <laughs> like, he's, like, the biggest re reason I'm watching the Falcons right now. Like, it's the fucking kicker. Yeah, yeah, Ozuna. Uh, I don't want to talk about Ozuna that much, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, if they're not obvious to people watching, um, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not good. It's it's not it's not a good story. It, there's no, there's no joy to be found or anything. It's it's just unfortunate. <sighs> Texas Longhorns have a kick in your tick. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> But, yeah, no, uh, that was, that was my World Series Game 6, is me and Amonti went fishing in Final Fantasy XIV for eight innings, and then for the ninth, we stopped. I, I stopped, I think she kept going, but I stopped for sure. I just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it again. Like, it was, it was too much, you know? Like, I needed to watch it, and I, I, I don't think anyone would blame me, but I still feel bad when I have to be selfish about, like, anything. I feel really guilty. Why <laughs> Luke Jackson throw the net for the true. He is the best pitcher in baseball, and it is not particularly, particularly close. God, that's hard to say. What the fuck? Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Race fucking win, dude. Like, 
it doesn't doesn't feel real. Like I I think I was able to stress how big of a deal this was to see you in a and I was like, listen, I have waited my entire fucking life for this. I I was technically alive when they won last time, but not nearly old enough to remember it. <laughs> that's mean, that's disrespectful. I mean, it's the Astros, so like, whatever, but... Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Um... I do want to say that... There is kind of a nice... I don't want to say redemption, really for Super Bowl a few years ago, but I talked about this a lot on my two-month anniversary stream when we, when we watched that Falcons documentary together for like eight hours straight or something. Um, but that Super Bowl felt like the first time that the entire world saw the Georgia that I loved, like the Not as like a bullshit flyover state full racist kind of thing, but like a really diverse place full of a lot of really good people that are all coming together for the Falcons, the Rays, the Hawks, but whatever. I would say the Bulldogs, but Georgia Tech exists, I guess. <laughs> like the entire country is behind the city of Atlanta and we let them down and that was always the worst feeling in the world to me. Like, if it had been against like some other fucking team, like the fucking Buffalo Bills or some shit, where people were like, oh, well, people are happy they won, they won the finally after a billion years or whatever. Like, I would, I would have been fine. It was the fact that there is a narrative and that there's the Patriots and it's Tom Brady that I just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, fucking... The Astros did some really nefarious shit. And... Everyone hates them. They're like the villains of baseball now. They somehow are more hated than the Yankees now. Which is kind of impressive. <laughs> like, it'll go- it'll go- go away in time. Hey, Corvus, what's up? Hope you're having a good day. Um, like, the signal around the Ashes will go away in time. Um, like, no one fucking holds the White Sox account of, like, no one's sending Tim Anderson death threats because of fucking, like, Chewish Joe Jackson's bullshit or whatever, you know? Like, <laughs> they sure fucking are, Corvus. They sure are. Um... Astro has to go past it, probably when LTV retires, because I feel like LTV is going to be a career Astro. Um, Hooray is probably going to fucking New York. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, oh man, him and Cole being reunited would be kind of, kind of funny. Look forward to Atlanta winning another championship again in 2046. Don't say that. Don't say it. Don't give me hope that they'll do it again. <laughs> Listen, if EJ, if EGA wins, I think, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> in, in conclusion of the thought I had going on, um, Astros are the villains of baseball, it feels like, like at least for right now, after all the shit that went happen that happened with the, uh, Josh Cancer, which by the way sounds fake. I I tried to explain like how the Astros cheated to people. And if you do that, it sounds like an episode of The Simpsons. It doesn't sound real. <laughs> but it is. And it's it's blatant and it's gross and it's terrifying. Um but it felt like all of America was reading for Atlanta, and this time they didn't fuck up, like that first inning, like the like the like spikes on like Freed's shin or whatever the hell, like didn't didn't happen. Freed pitched better. They unlocked his fucking avatar state with that. Oscar the Crouch, yes. 
<laughs> um, and he's just pitch crazy. Like, I saw some stat that, like, Max threw at 98 miles per hour or something, and I was like, the fastest pitch he's ever thrown in his career or something. Was last night, and I fully believe it. Like, he was so good after those first two batters. Like, he was just on fire. And I know people are gonna be like, oh, why'd you take Max Freed out? Why didn't you let him do a complete game shutout? Just like Tom Glavin did in game six in 1995. And it's like, well, you know what? The 1995 Braves didn't have fucking. <laughs> didn't have the night crew. Didn't have the best pitcher in baseball, Luke Jackson. <laughs> Like, game, like, games are more bullpen heavy now, and I think a lot of people hate it, but, I don't know, I'm kind of into it. I, I like I like using the bullpen and being strategic with it, and, like, keeping batters guessing and keeping them seeing different guys. Like, it feels more like team, a, more of a team effort now, and I kind of prefer that. Work us through the ninth in 1985. Yeah, true. Now, Parker, what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't read. I'm, like... Still kind of emotional from shit. Like I think it just kind of tearing up constantly for a while. Like <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um Yeah, no. Uh Raisin. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I, I don't know. I just wanted to do a stream to talk about how the Braves won and how fucking insane that is. And I don't know. Like I am so used. Like my entire life, I'm just so used to Georgia sports teams fucking up horribly and choking and. Every time it seemed like something was going to go wrong, it didn't. Like, like every, every time something would happen and you go, oh, well, there goes, here, come, here comes the Astros rally. Here, here's where Max Street falls apart or whatever the hell. Like, every time something like that would have happened, it never did. It just never, it, it just never happened. Like, Whatever fucking demons cursed the fucking brain, like Atlanta in general, like however long ago. <laughs> came home. Yeah. You know, it did come home. Solaris home run. <laughs> I swear to god, he fucking hit that so hard it wrapped around the fucking planet and landed back in Atlanta. Like. <laughs> Like a fucking flash or something. Crush that. Like, I like my reactions to the Dansby home run and the two Freddy RBIs um, was just screaming at the top of my lungs when when Solaire hit the ball and just crushed it. I just started hyperventilating. Like I thought I was going to have a panic attack. I was like, <laughs> it's just like, oh my, I shouldn't make noises like that on stream. I, I apologize. But <laughs> I was so fucking scared. I I was, I don't know what I was scared of. I, I was scared of feeling hope. Like it's like a trauma response or something. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And just I don't know, like pretty quickly after after the game ended, the TV crew like went out to Freddy and he was like wearing a world champion shirt and that just really fucks me up. Cause I remember um I remember when he got called up and shit, you know? And he was like a rookie and he looked like a fucking nerd and he still looks like a fucking nerd. <laughs> I really don't want to cry on stream. <laughs> but like, when I started being able to follow baseball more seriously beyond just like watching games on TV and stuff, like, 
like understanding what the fuck a farm system was and shit like him and Jay Hay were like Jason Hayward um were like the two players that I always saw as like I, these guys are the future and even then like Hayward more so because like Hayward was like a five tool player you know like I love Freddy to death but he does play first base. And it's not as valuable as like an outfielder in the long run or whatever the hell, you know? But it was it was like years of competency. Like like Bobby Cox's last season. Going into the Freddy Gonzalez shit. <laughs> I don't know how many people remember Freddy Gonzalez at this point. But man, people are really fucking hate that guy. Like, going into that in Chipper's last season, like, the collapse of 2011 was fucking heartbreaking, like, the only playoff game I've ever been to in my life was the 2012 wildcard game, um, between the Cardinals and the Braves. And my dad and I went, and I knew it was going, I knew there was a chance it was going to be Chipper's last game, and... Chipper was my favorite player growing up. Um, <laughs> like, I, I, like, like, he's always been the Atlanta Braves to me. I did not throw stuff on the field. <laughs> I had friends texting me to make sure I was okay and that I wasn't getting in, hit in the head by beer bottles, but I didn't throw stuff on the field. I was at the Transfers the Yankees playoff game that started the record bait. Breaking postseason. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Uh, so Chipper Jones is um has some issues for sure. Like his first playing career, uh, he's had some shit. I'm not really a fan of. <laughs> I don't want to get too into that on stream or anything. Um, but. He was, like, I choose to remember Chipper as the fucking the Superman I saw him as when I was a kid. Like, power hitting third baseman could do fucking everything, like... Every time I hear fucking Crazy Train, I, I think about him and I think I always will, you know? Because he was, like, my first favorite player. Like, first, like... For as much shit the Braves went through, like, ever since then, like, going into 2013, like, it hurt because Chipper had left, you know? Like, I think it was fucking insane because, like, with the, the wild card game, it was fucking insane because, like, it was the first, like, of, like officially designated wild card game or whatever. Like, uh, like I, the Braves had a better record than the Cardinals, like, outright. Like, if it if that season happened, like, a year earlier, which I know that sounds stupid because it's, like, season year is, like, interchangeable. Fucking, not interchangeable, but, like, the, basically the same thing. But, like, the Braves just would have been the wild card team and they would have gone on to play, I don't know, the fucking Giants or whoever. Yeah, no, the Cardinals are not one of my favorite teams. I have a really, really good friend who's a Cardinals fan who, um... I've been friends with since I was 14. Um, they're, they're also a really, really big Saints fan. Uh, <laughs> and the fact that we're still friends is a testament to how shy the friendship is. <laughs> oh god, he sent me, um, he sent me art during the game of an Idol Master character named uh, Mamimi um, from shining colors, uh, in a Braves jersey, putting on a pearl necklace, and it's really, I was like, the Braves are gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, like, manifested, like, Atlanta Braves Idol Master fan art. God has smiled upon me. <laughs> the Braves are winning today. <laughs> I like one Saints fan. There's one Saints fan who's chill. 
if you watch just the stream sometimes, if you're watching high seat. <laughs> no, no, I, I, that, that would be kind of cool though. I feel like this is a baseball episode of Fully Coley, right? Um, is a baseball anime? I remember it just kind of being weird. I remember there being like baseball elements to it. Like I remember Haruko in like a baseball outfit, but I feel like that was like one episode. Um, but I don't know. Like the Braves have meant a lot to me, and like, like with the wild card game, um. Knowing that after spending my whole wa whole life watching Chipper play and like lead the Braves and shit, like knowing I was able to cheer for him in his last at bat ever, like like anytime I go back and watch that play appearance, um, like on video or whatever, I see a picture of him like waving his helmet to the crowd. Like, I know that I'm one of the people that, that's there cheering for him, like, amongst that fucking sea of voices, like... That means the fucking world to me. <laughs> um, and then going to 2013, like, we had, uh, BJ Upton and Justin Upton, uh, Up Up and Hey, uh, Up Up and J Hey, sorry, as, uh, as, as it was sometimes called. Um, Hayward was kind of seen as the team leader coming out, like, Freddy was still there, he was still at first, he was still being a fucking like, nerd. Um, I think he had, like, a bromance with, like, Chris Johnson, and that was really cute. Do you remember fucking Chris Johnson? He had, like, fucking, like, approximately, like, 300 shit zillion batting average that year, in, like, 2013. Um, I was, uh, not in a great place in life. Uh, I don't want to get this super fucking emo about it, but from 2013 through 2018, like right, like right before Braves won the National League East for the first time uh, in like five years or whatever, and maybe like a week before that, um, I was really, really far away from home, and I just. I was very miserable, and I wasn't myself, and the one thing I had throughout all those years that made me feel like myself was, um, no, not college. <laughs> I don't want to really get into it. It's, it's, it's darker. Um, not, not, not fun anime, anime girl times. Um... The one thing I had connecting me to home um, was staying up until 4 a.m. Uh, to watch the Braves play. And I was living overseas uh, for a good chunk of that. Um, and I felt like that was the one thing I could still cling on to. to Keep being myself in that in that environment, you know. Like, I think it, I think it was help for like the people I was staying with, but <laughs> I don't know. I just have so many memories of like watching like Dan Ugly smash a fucking grand slam in Philadelphia and watching like the light go out of like a bunch of Phillies fans' faces and just trying not to scream as hard as I can. <laughs> Um, and I remember after the 2014 season, they, like, the Rays missed the playoffs for the first time in a couple years, like, since 2011. Um, and, like, well, I'll get them next year, and I opened up, like, Talking Shop or something, and... I saw a big headline that says Jason Hayward traded to Cardinals. 
and I just broke the fuck down. Like, I just ran, I just ran into bed and started sobbing. Like, I just- I didn't stop for like half an hour. Like... It was really fucking rough. And like, I, I got to- I got to come back home for a little bit in 2015, and I got to see the, uh, one last game at Turner Field. Um... And I recognized nobody that was on the fucking team anymore. I recognized Chris Johnson, and that was like it, I think. I think maybe Simba was still around, I'm not sure. I forget when Simba got traded. Um, but I came back home fully in 2018. Um, after those like years of rough rebuilds and like being away and all that shit and I don't know, everything about Acuna and all these and all that shit just injected so much life into the team and like seeing Freddy still around, like still just like becoming like the new dad of the fucking team and shit. Like being to the praise what Chipper was to the praise when Freddy was a rookie, like it really touched me and from that point on just they haven't stopped being amazing. Like, they stumbled and fell a lot. Like I said earlier, there was a lot of times during the 2021 season when I thought it was over. I remember seeing a lineup from like 2015 and the only recognizable players were like, Freddie and Chase Peterson. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> when did we get Rakekis? Was Rakekis in 2015? I feel like it was. Yeah, because I remember kind of hating Rikikis for a bit, because he was he was playing right field and wearing 22. And I was like a fucking Harry Potter meme where he's just like, how dare you stand where he stood or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I miss, I miss Jay Hay. I, I love Jay Hay so much. And that, that um, 2016 World Series Game 7, um, it's like my favorite baseball game of all time. Uh, because of how fucking like, dramatic it was, but also I got to see Jason Hayward win a ring, and that blew me away. <laughs> it just felt good to see him happy, and not on the Cardinals. <laughs> oh my god, um... Oh, gosh, so... Twenty nineteen, obviously, uh the Cardinals happened. <laughs> that first inning um happened and I think um like my sister had company over just heard him like screaming and crying when there was like one out or something in the inning. And just brought me a glass of water and turned the TV off and said, hey, it's going to be okay. And I was just inconsolable for a bit. I was I was just broken. I just got home from work and saw the score and I was like, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, uh, I think Frenchie talked about that. Like, he was getting ready to do the um, Nationals Dodgers series, I think. And I went upstairs and saw the score was like 10 to nothing Cardinals. And he was like, that broken? What the fuck? <laughs> like... God, faulty. It, it, it sucks. It's a bad memory. Um... Last year... I could beat the Reds. Beat the goddamn Harlins. <laughs> Took a 3-1 lead against the Dodgers and, you know, that didn't end well, but... It did this year. And that's what fucking matters. The Dodgers might have won the World Series last year, but their fucking their fucking trophy is more Mickey Mouse than ours was in '95. So <laughs> I'll take it. We went like three for sixteen at the race. <laughs> oh gosh. Gosh, that's. Yeah, that's rough. I feel bad for him. Oh, 
could. Like, um... I don't know. <laughs> Both use a head case? Yeah. I, I, I feel really bad for him. Like, he's clearly got some issues he needs to work out. And, like... I don't know. It just sucks. There is one thing I'm kind of sad about with the World Series, and it's that... That Crinky is... That Crinky is probably never gonna win our World Series. That kind of sucks. I really love Crinky. <laughs> he fucking kicks so much ass. I love him. <clears throat> and like Dusty Baker's chill, I guess. I don't know. God. I don't know, I'm, I'm sitting here, I've been talking for an hour straight about how, like, the Braves won the World Series, and it still doesn't feel real, like, it happened. Like, like, almost, like, almost, like, a full day now, like, it's almost, it's like an hour from eight, which is when the game started. It doesn't feel real still. I don't know if it ever fucking will. I hope so. <laughs> um... But, yeah, no, it just... It's fucking crazy. It's really fucking crazy. And I... So, I... I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> I, 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 um... I told C and Monty this last night. Um, but, like... I always read those things that people talk about when, like, their team was the fucking championship or whatever. It was like, I can die happy now or whatever. And I always thought that was an exaggeration, but... That pops in my head, like, an hour after the game ended. I said a lot, you know what? If I die tomorrow, I think I'd be alright with it. <laughs> and that feels like such a fucking overdramatic thing, and I, I... I don't know why... Words has that fucking effect on people, but, like... I don't know. Um, I, I talked about earlier why baseball means so much to me, and like why the Braves mean so much to me, and it's a really special. <laughs> God. The episode of South Park where Michael Jackson won the beauty fashion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Dude, fucking... I was really confused last night about why... Like, see you and Monty are like, hey, thanks for letting us be part of this with you and all that shit. I'm like, dude, thanks for engaging in my interests with me. And I don't know, like, I, I have a really bad habit of kind of minimizing myself and shit. Um, not all the time, because I'm a fucking internet person that goes on the internet and I'm like, beep, beep, boop, I'm funny, fucking butt. But, like, I don't know, especially because of my interests, I get, like, really cagey about it. Like, I don't really like sharing, um, what I'm passionate about with people, because I just kind of expect people to be like, oh, that's fucking dumb, because I'm either around, like, baseball people and talking about anime, and they're like, oh, that's stupid, or I'm around anime people, and they're like, haha, sports ball. You know? Like, <laughs> it's two very, very different worlds. Yeah, exactly, Mel. Um... But it, it really did mean the world to me that they were there for me when I needed them. Um, I'm a, I'm pretty far away from my sister. Um, if I if I if I was like in Metro Atlanta, I absolutely would have been at, at her house and like screaming at the TV with like my brother-in-law, <laughs> like her husband. Um. Like, I was thinking about him all, all fucking game, because, like, we watched so many fucking, like, Atlanta sports bullshit together, just cheering, cheering with each other, and... 
Oh my god. <laughs> I am just, I don't know, I, I, I still feel speechless, I've been talking for like an hour and 15 minutes, eventually I'm gonna not be speechless anymore. <laughs> but um... I don't know, like, I was thinking about it a bit ago, like, like just a couple minutes ago, and I was like... I did kind of explain to the two of them that this is something I've waited my entire fucking life for, and that this game and this team means so fucking much to me. Being a Brace fan is really fucking hard sometimes, like, they make it pretty difficult <laughs> for a lot of reasons. But, like, I don't know. I think- I think they understood how significant it was better than I did. <laughs> like, how significant to me it was better than I did that I would want to spend that moment with them. Like, people that don't really follow baseball at all. I don't- I don't- I don't know. It's, um... It's weird. It's weird, man. It's... Very strange. <laughs> I, um... I'm out of words. I, I think a lot of shit's hitting me now. I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> like, um... I don't know. Like, I kind of wanted to record this to be like, hey, this is fun. So it's like a celebration of the Braves winning the World Series for all time or whatever. I promise next year when the Braves fucking lose to the fucking, I, I don't know, throw his dart up board. The Florida Marlins? Like, I need to get a new one, jeez. Um... <laughs> I'm not sure when that happens, like, I'll probably have, like, a more cohesive season wrap-up thing. But it's good, like, our piece. <laughs> right now, I don't have any thought- I don't have any thoughtful things. I just have, um... He's smashing. That's just one of my favorites. Um... I, I want this to be, like, a cool archive of, like, yeah, this is, like, a really cool moment. And I just kind of started crying a bit, so... <laughs> It's gonna be awkward to leave this up, but I'm going to, because, fuck it, 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 it would feel shitty not to leave this up. Um... I don't really I don't really like talking about my personal life that much. Um... Like... Not even, like, front- like, uh, like... I don't know. It, it, it's- it's been- it's been a really, really, really weird- <laughs> Really, really weird 26 years. Of being championshipless, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I had thought earlier that before, before last night, the Braves had won three World Series in three different cities, uh, like Boston, Milwaukee, and Atlanta. And now they won four World Series. World, four World Series in four different cities. Boston, Milwaukee, Atlanta, and Marietta. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Brace needs 26 years to reach the promised land. Yep. <laughs> Shelby Miller died for this. And Jason Hayward died for this. Craig Campbell died for this. Uh, Angelson Simmons died for this. Uh, Jupton and Bupton died for this. <laughs> So many people, like, Mark Hakus, like... Like, Jace Peterson, like you said earlier, like, Julio, like, Ender, like, so many people, like, along the way since, like, this course started with, like, Freddy, you know?
it's crazy. It's it's really it's really fucking crazy. Like I I feel like I think the Padres sent Max Freed over for Justin Upton or something, and like the Braves got Shelby Miller for Jay Hay, and then the Braves got Dansby for Shelby Miller. <laughs> Mike Gonzalez, that closer had the best shocking emotion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Mark Melanson feels like a fucking idiot now. Like, <laughs> like Mark Melanson playing with the Padres in the offseason because he's like, I want to play for a team that's actually going to win a World Series. And you know what? The Padres didn't even make the fucking playoffs. <laughs> Braves did, though. So have fun in fucking San Diego, I guess. You, you can call it that. God. I really hope the Padres get it together next year. I don't, I don't know if I have any closing thoughts on the season in general. Um, the Giants being good was a pleasant surprise. Also, um... Sorry if this is how anybody finds out this news, but uh, right before I went live, I saw a thing on Twitter that said Buster Posey announced his retirement, and, like, holy shit! <laughs> it's fucking crazy! Um, really looking forward to the 28th retirement ceremony next year, but like, holy shit. What do you, what do we need to go out for Buster? Honestly, like, like going from like, projected worst in the division to like having comeback season where you hit like 300 and like, take your team to the NLDS and like only lose because of a bullshit check swing call. That grad Joey Bart will be his replacement? Yeah, good point. Honestly, I kind of expected Posey to move over to first uh, when when Jerry Bart got called up, but I don't know. Like the Giants are one of the teams that I like, kind of like because they have a lot of players I liked when I was younger. Um, mostly Tim Lins Tim Lincecum, uh, Tim Lincecum, very sexy, very good pitcher. I I fucking loved him. Like he was so good. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, hopefully... Hopefully, um, the Giants can get back there soon. Uh, keep the NL West fucking crazy, because it was pretty fucking fun this year. Uh, hopefully the Padres can get, can get back to it. The Dodgers are probably going to be good for a, lot, a while still. Like, the Dodgers are probably always going to be competitive for at least a few more fucking years, you know? I guess the Rockies and Diamondbacks exist. Anyway, uh, Central, I don't know, the Brewers pitching staff's really fucking good, and that's kind of scary. I think Nato is stating with the Cardinals, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, Yachty and Wayno are retiring next year, I think. Um... Yeah, no, they super are. I, I don't know where Corey's going. Like, uh, Corey Seager is one of the few Dodgers I really like. And I I, I want to know where he's going. Like, I... I don't know. Like, I kind of hope, hope he goes to Seattle, because, like... I don't know, they need a third baseman. Um, they wouldn't have to make new jerseys. <laughs> they could just give him his brothers and be like, Hey, here you go. People won't, people won't be able to stop. <laughs> Um... Ah, oh, dear lord, alright, uh... It's funny to watch Seattle suck, I don't know, I just... <laughs> I like the Mariners a lot. The Mariners are my favorite American League team, and I attribute that a lot to, like, Griffey and Randy and Ichiro, um, but... I don't know, I just like them. <laughs> So, kind of the same reason I like the tiny back because they also had Randy Johnson, and that was like r peak Randy Johnson was when he, when he was with uh, Arizona. Um, but God, he's so good. Um, No, dude, I don't know. <laughs> like... I 
I'm trying to think of shit to say and I don't know. Like, uh... And at least fucking weird as hell. <laughs> Like, I, so many people were expecting the Mets to win it, and uh, going into the season, I was pretty fucking scared. Like, I felt pretty confident the Braves going to win the division again, but, like, I was like, I don't know, the Mets might make it hard. The Braves might have to face the Padres in the, in the playoffs in, like, a, a one-game elimination, and, uh, for a lot of reasons, that didn't happen. <laughs> um... Marlins seem to be getting better. Phillies, I... I feel like the Phillies have pretty consistently throughout the season played at their ceiling. <laughs> what like like your long match high chance Phillies see next season? Oh god, I have no idea. Apparently they don't even have a GM right now. Like I saw something about um some like some something on Twitter about someone going like, I'm gonna Mets have a GM position open. This is the New York Mets, the pinnacle of the sport. And then it's just like, sir. That's just a TikTok meme. <laughs> no one wants to be the GM of the Mets because they know what they know what happens. But I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll see the Braves winning the World Series and go like, you know what? It's my time. Like um, I was gonna say they have like Pete Crow Armstrong coming up, but like no, they they got trade they trade him to fucking somewhere. What the fuck is Pete Crow Armstrong? Like he got traded. <gasps> They traded him for Javi Baez! Yeah, he's in he's in Chicago now. Shit, alright. <laughs> Step right up to sweep the mess. <laughs> Gosh. Um That's probably gonna suck for a while, but I love Soto and I'm looking forward to watching Soto play. Uh I don't know how much more Strasbourg has left in him. Um, American League, uh, I don't know, the AL, AL East is really cool, I was kind of hope the Blue Jays win it next year because the Blue Jays are fun. Um, they don't play in Tropicana Field and they're not the Yankees or the Red Sox, so it's a kind of like a fun, out of nowhere kind of team. There's like some other team in the AL, uh, AL East, but I don't think I remember what they are, so they probably are not important. Um, <laughs> I mean... Uh, Ale Central, uh, Two Cares, Byron Buxton, probably dead forever, and that sucks. Um, I don't know, I, I like the White Sox a good bit. I like the Twins a good bit, honestly. The Montreal Rays, yeah. Yeah, the fucking Montreal X-Rays or whatever. The Mon Montampa X-Rays, I think that's what people start calling it. <laughs> It's weird. It's gonna be really weird. Like, um... I don't think the ownership of the Rays understands how fucking complicated that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, Death Star in a week. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Really weird hiccup. Oh my lord, okay. Um... Oh yeah, and the athletics might be moving to moving to Vegas. That's really weird. <laughs> it's really fucking weird. It's not like a press letter. It's like, hey, if the athletics had um a a, a stadium in Las Vegas as a home team, would you want it to be a, a domed stadium or an outdoor stadium? And it's like, bitch, this is Las Vegas. What the fuck do you think? <laughs> like. It's like a billion degrees all the time in Las Vegas. Salt Lake City Warmers, fuck yeah! <laughs> um... Yeah, hopefully the Mariners do better. Um... I hope the Angels do better. <laughs> I hope the Astros start losing. I hope the Astros are in the playoffs next year. I think my ideal American League look for next year is like Blue Jays in the East, the Twins or the White Sox in Central, 
Mariners in the West, and then like whatever the AL Central team didn't make the division, and the Angels for the wild card. Like those are the teams I want to see do well. Those are not the teams I think are gonna do well. Um, but those are the ones that I want to see do well. Uh, National League. It's all about the Braves, B. Let's go Braves. <laughs> Yankees go, Yankees go late 90s mode for Maximum Assault. Yeah, sure. Why not? It'd be fun. <sighs> Gosh, I am fucking so, so tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, and... Baseball's a lot, dude. <laughs> Baseball is really a lot. I, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully... God, you know what's weird? Like, every time a team won the World Series, and, like, fans of it were always like, right, yeah, we're winning the next one. Um, I was always like, well, you guys just won one. Like, let, let someone else have a, have a shot. Jeez, what's wrong with you? But, like... I oh, that earlier, I'm like, no, the Braves gonna win the next year, and if they don't, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Braves are World, Ch World Series champions for the next, like, 50 years until I'm dead, probably. I don't know how long I'm gonna live. I probably- I shouldn't make a call shot like that. That's not good for me, so. <sighs> I think I'm gonna head out for now. I'm gonna... I don't know, I'm probably gonna go to the store, get some fucking coke or something. Hell yeah, that, that team was good at baseball. Fuck yeah, they were Rico. <laughs> and I go get some coke and, uh, I don't know, some fucking Zaxby's. I, I don't know what Georgia shit is. Alright, thanks for watching Orange Cat. I got it in the stream. Um, so I appreciate you sticking with me the entire time. Fucking go Braves. Next year they're gonna do it with Acuna. And they don't... I'll kill myself on live television. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think that's gonna be all for me. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I know this stream is kind of mellow. It's kind of talking about bullshit, but... This is the moment I've waited my entire life for. And I really can't describe how happy I am that, that it's happened. And I had such good friends supporting me along the way and putting up with my bullshit. <laughs> I'm really, really thankful to them. Um... <laughs> Both of them got on the bandwagon pretty hard and I, it, it felt really nice. Every, everything about Everything about this rules. And that's a weird feeling. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, <laughs> I really want to do like some cute outro thing with like... I go off the screen further because Jorge Soler uh, hit a home run this time. Because uh, then he hit that thing to fucking Nantucket, but like... I, I, I believe someone called it Pujolsian, and, uh, that's a good word. <laughs> like, and whatever the fucking railroad track, to Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know. Um, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Fucking Braves forever. Uh, going, going, going. She is finally at peace. <laughs>